This is uh, how to set up the Siglent digital storage oscilloscope to do the decoding of uh, serial signals, which is really a nice feature. Normally, it used to be found on really you know, expensive scopes. I have spent $15,000 on a Tektronix 10 years ago to do this, and this oscilloscope is about $500. <coughs> it is the uh, SDS1104. So here's an example. There's a MIDI signal from a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino MIDI shield and a little MIDI fader. And I change the MIDI for the fader and you can see the messages coming in. <clears throat> and then they're decoded. And uh, so here's the three bytes. This is a MIDI message B4004F. And as the fader goes up, 4F goes to 7F. So it's just indicating the value the fader is sending out. There's 19, B40019. So how do you get this uh, set up to do this? And the other really neat thing is you can change the uh, time base. So here there's two time bases. This is the main acquisition up here. This is the expanded acquisition of this region. So you can get a zoom view and decode the zoom, which is really nice because practically you always want to have a wide capture range on the top to uh, see multiple messages and then allow you to scroll, you know, on the main using the horizontal position here to, if you have multiple messages, you can look at them one at a time. See, if I move the fader really fast, I get a burst of messages. <clears throat> so I can scroll over and see this message decoded. And there's the decode right there before. So this is when you take the uh, horizontal knob and you push it. See, now it's <clears throat> pushed off, so it shows the unzoomed time base of 5 millisecond per division up here. So this would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 14 divisions here, which is a little bit... Uh, normally you'd have five to uh, ten divisions, you know, five on each side on a normal scope, but here it's 14. So five times 14 is 70 milliseconds. So every 10 milliseconds, the device is sending out a message, and you cannot read it because it's too compressed. <clears throat> so you push in the horizontal, and then when you push it in, you get another basically a delayed time base it used to be called delayed time base so now I can, and it's really nicely done here so you can keep your I'm on normal trigger so I'm not getting another sweep so the trigger is normal <coughs> so now I can move my required signal and I'm still ready to get another it's still on run mode but it's not gonna erase until I send another uh, message but now I just push and then I can use the scroll and change the time base zoom it out I scroll over with the horizontal position and I see my decode of my serial data which is exactly what we want to see so how do you configure it well you have to use this button, decode. So I push decode, and it 
and you have two I've just sort of playing with it but right now you have two uh, decodes <clears throat> two channels you can decode like for receive and transmit here's RX and TX and then you can select your protocol and you have the choice of uh, I2C, SPI, CAN, Linbus, and UART. UART is for all serial RS-232, which MIDI is. And then the signal options are your channel number. And so select channel, you have to go up here. Use the multifunction scroll. And this one's a little touchy, I noticed. It's not like debounce that well. And then you have to push it in to select the one you want. And then that's the, uh, basically like a trigger threshold, where, uh, let's see, so see how it's changing, that's where it decides how to decode high, logic high, logic low. So now I've got, uh, channel two would be decoded as the TX channel. And there's two pages here. The other page is how do you want the data displayed? Hexadecimal and uh, tips or a list. I guess you could do uh, this one I haven't played with. Oh, there we go. This is really nice. This one I just, how do you get RX? So it's showing seven messages in this acquisition. And here's the byte values on each message. So we have seven messages displayed in the main acquisition. For example, this one is B40029, this is B40027. B40028. We have more than seven actually. So let's say change the lines here to. Oops, I would want to change this. Let's see if the scroll note allows me to change that. There's only two. Three, seven. Seven's a max, I guess. So it's not showing all of the data there, but that's that's a nice display that uh, could, but if it's only going to let you see seven at a time, it's maybe not that useful. <clears throat> so to configure this, uh, let's say start from scratch, turn this off. So here I have a, uh, I set my channel up normally as a uh, digital, and the, uh, that's on a regular probe. We're not using a digital probe, which is an option, which I don't have. But the important thing I noticed was the sample rate. If you're zooming, you still want to get at least you know, 10 mega samples per second, and it, and it did not default that way, and you have to uh, go to the acquire button and make sure the memory depth is set. The default is at 14K memory depth, and then when you do the zoom, it doesn't have the resolution to decode it correctly. So I set it to 1 million, then it could decode it. And then the other thing is <coughs> uh, bandwidth on the channel. I, for this MIDI is 30 K baud, so I can leave it at 20 megahertz. But uh, the important thing was to make sure the sample rate is high enough to get a good estimate of the logic levels. And once you have all that set up, then you go to decode and uh, pick the, you have two channels to decode. Protocol, your receive channel, the threshold to 
discriminate logic and then assign it to or disable it and then uh, The configure. Oh, here's the baud rate. So, for MIDI, I had to do a custom baud. These are the def defined baud rates. But then, if you go custom, you have to scroll with the. And it's a slow scroll, but eventually you can get to maybe up to a mega baud. I, I didn't go high enough, but it's it doesn't zoom, so it would take a while to go up to a mega baud, but. The default, I mean, range is 115K is the max. Data length, parity, stop, those are all standard. And idle level, sometimes you have idle high. Here, in this case, idle level is high. So when there's no signal, it's high. Then LSB, MSB order. And once all that is set, uh, then you go decode and... Uh, Oops. And just enable it. Display with the display button. So that wasn't intuitive to me. It defaulted to off. <laughs> you have to turn it on. And you're all set.